Sunday night, September 3rd, 2017. Chris, you asked me what the Bruck was. And for Chris and for those of you who don't know what the Bruck is, the Bruck is a uh, half bus, half truck that was used by the Great Northern Railway way back when. The Bruck is a custom designed bus truck and has a unique place in the history of whitefish in the Great Northern Railway. Because the Empire Builder and the Western Star passenger train stopped in Whitefish, passengers from Kalispell, 15 miles to the south, had to be transported to and from Whitefish, a trip originally made on a short-line gas-electric train known as the Galloping Goose. In 1950, after 46 years of operation, the Galloping Goose was abandoned for economic reasons. A GM passenger bus and mail express trucks provided service between the two towns for a short time. Then the railroad replaced them with the Bruck, built to GM specifications by the Kenworth Motor Truck Company of Seattle. The tastefully refurbished 39-foot vehicle had room for 21 passengers and their baggage, as well as the spacious, spacious freight and the baggage compartment in the rear. It boasted a 220 horsepower engine and a 10-speed transmission. The floor was the same height as a railroad car for ease of loading and unloading. Operating on the highway rather than a, than a rail line, the Bruck saved time and money. The, buck, the Bruck, painted in GN's familiar orange and green, averaged six round trips daily starting on July 17, 1951 and covering the route for more than 20 years. Times changed, however, and Amtrak, the federalized passenger service, retired the Bruck in 1972. The vehicle ended up in the railroad's maintenance department. With its glory days over, the Bruck languished for years in, in salvage yard in Great Falls until a Michigan couple, Larry and Connie Hoffman, happened to notice it there while attending a meeting of the Great Northern Railway Historical Society. Larry, a railroad buff, set out to buy the Bruck, but died before the purchase could be made. In 1999, Connie bought the derelict Bruck and donated it to the Stumptown Historical Society, which went to work to restore it. After hundreds of hours of volunteer work and an expenditure of about $20,000, the refurbished Bruck with authentic paint and fittings is home to stay, a memorial not only to Larry Hoffman, but to the colorful story of the railroad in Whitefish. And so that you may see now, I will walk as far around the Bruck as you can walk. And they did an absolutely beautiful job. This has been sitting here for years now. Oh, what timing. And here comes BNSF in the yard. With our Bruck tour completed, I'll walk over to these wonderful statues by the Whitefish Depot. I'll get a shot of it here in just a little bit. There, there's this wonderful statue of these Rocky Mountain, the Rocky Mountain Goat of the Great Northern right here, just outside of the historic Whitefish Station. This was donated by Turner and Nancy Askew, Turner and Nancy Askew, excuse me, in memory of his grandparents, H. Earl and Margaret Turner Clack of Haver, Montana, 1898 to 1989, who instilled a love for Montana and their family. And this is in honor of the railroad families who have steadfastly supported the railroad workers, helping to establish and settle the pioneer railroad towns they since called home.
And here ends this video, Brock and Rocky.